turn on Studio Blind. Okay. Hi there, today I'm going to be testing out some smart blind engines. So this particular engine comes in two variants, We've got a Wi-Fi variant there and a Zigbee one there. Details for all the products I'm using today are in the description below if you're interested in buying. Now the products themselves also work via remote and application wise it works on Tuya and Smart Life. So the product itself should retrofit most blinds but the blind has to have a tube diameter of 38 millimeters. Now let's take a look at one of the actual motors. So in terms of size, 34 centimeters, diameter is 2.4 centimeters. Build of this is quite nice and strong. Both products are identical and to set it up, you need to insert these rubber rings onto there. So this one slots on and then the other one sits on the end. So once you've put them into position, this is how it will look. And then this will be slotted in to the blind. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon to turn on notifications. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and drop me a message, let me know what you think. If you don't like it, make it count by hitting thumbs down twice. So it's quite nice that you don't need to go to the app to use this, you can also use a remote as well. And also voice control is available too via Alexa and Google Home. Coming in close on both the motors, they are identical. The only difference, obviously, one Wi-Fi, the other one Zigbee, and they have the same capabilities. In terms of setup, there's a pin here. If I pull that out, and then this rubber goes on top. So you just slide that along, and that goes all the way to the end, like so, and it sits onto just the piece there and then this you can see there's a slight recess on one end the other one doesn't have it as much so that one would slot on like that and then you'd push it down and then slot the pin into there once the pins in position just bend back the bits on there so it ensures this is firmly in position and it doesn't fall off installation wise you just take it slot it into position and what you'll notice the gaps between the rubber which is up here slightly different so one's wider and one's narrower so you go for the one that's relevant for your situation so if i place that in it's quite a nice tight squeeze in there and you just push it in like so till it gets in there then you position it in with this until it goes in and that's it as simple as that and what's nice about this the whole motor's hidden away the only thing hanging off is the plug so once you plug this in that's it it's a nice tidy finish to this let's make a start at setting up these devices so i'll start with the wi-fi based one first and then i'll show the zigbee based one so for both of these devices you'll need either the two year or the smart life app so i'll be using the smart life app Functionality wise, they're both identical. So once you've installed, you'll be asked to create an account, create the account and then log in. And once you've logged in, you'll be presented with a dialogue similar to this. I've got a number of smart devices, hence you're seeing all of the below. Now, if I click on the corner here, go to small home appliances, scroll down and we want curtain. And then we need to check if there's a light blinking on the device. So one thing to note, it doesn't have any sort of light indicators on there. So what we need to do initially is plug it in and we need to take a small pin like so and then towards the wire end you can see a slight red indicator. Now what we need to do is press that three times over a five second period and once you press it you'll hear the motor move at the same time. So if I press it now That's it, three times I've pressed it. Now, if I come over to the app and I confirm, next we need to type in our Wi-Fi password. So let me do that off camera. I've typed in my Wi-Fi password. Let me click confirm. There you go, successfully added. And now if we click done, this is the interface. Looking in there, it says, please complete the switch curtain. Now coming back just to show, that's how it's presented in the app. Going in there, let me briefly show the options. These are standard options you see on most of these Smart Life products. It shows there 
third party controls that are available for it as well and you can share it with other people create groups etc with this now coming back from there so first of all you look at the bottom options and you can see there's an open option here if I click that you can hear the motor going click pause click there and that will close it and click on the more then you've got motor direction so you can flip that around depending on the way your installation is and then you've got schedule so you can set timers for this as well which is quite good so you can have it closing and opening at specified times next let me show how to install the zigbee version of the device so i'll plug it in initially at the side here and now looking on my smart life app you can see smart gateway so this is a zigbee gateway if i click there you've got add sub device at the bottom if I click on that next we need to get the device in a reset position so as before got the reset point there we just press it three times over a five second period okay that's reset now so if we now click the button and give it a moment so there you go as simple as that it's added in already and if I click done can see the device there click done again and it's appeared here now if I go back you can see it there if I go into it this is how it's presented if I click over here same detail as any other smart life or to your app coming back so now to use if I click the button here close it and open it pause as well and again similar to the other one you can change motor direction and schedule a timer on there as well to open and close at certain times so there you go simple as that to add in both the devices next let me show how to pair the remote to the device so the remote has different channels if I click the plus you can see the channels you have available now let me go to number one and all we have to do is click once on the button here and you'll see that move so the motor moved once and then we just hold on to the arrow here and there you go simple as that to program in and what the up and down arrows do obviously change directions and then you can press the button here to stop it as simple as that and then when you want to move on to programming another one simple just change channel now if I go along just to show so there's nine channels it looks like now I've set up the blind for demo purposes in a temporary position now just to show it in action I've got the remote here going up press the stop going down and stop again there's a bit of a squeak in there WD-40 can sort that out easily now carrying on clicking stop again one thing to note if the directions for you up here aren't correct flip this around press the set button four times on here and then that will reverse these around but for me it's working correctly next to set the upper and lower limit we get it into the position we want so let me raise it up and we'll stop it there and what we need to do is press the set button here at the back one appears then you press that and you can just hear it click just for a second and then if we go down go on the back press it once again and then press down you hear it click now if you watch it stops automatically and going down there you go now coming back to the smart life app I've renamed the blind engine to be called studio blind clicking on there you can see the positioning now if I drag it across slowly you can see I've set a position of 42% 
and there you go, just closes a certain amount of distance. So that's pretty cool. You don't have to just open it and close it completely. You can get a certain position when you want. Now to open it completely, if I just click that one, there you go, and closing it. As simple as that, how cool is that? Now looking in here, in schedule, add timer looking in control you can only open or close it you can't get it midway on a schedule so keep that in mind next let me show the blind motor working with both the Amazon and Google home products via voice control I've shown this many a time pretty straightforward to do so let's start with the Google home so going into the home app all you need to do is add in the service for smart life so clicking the plus here set up device works with Google bottom one and then we just search for smart life you can see I've already got it added in if you haven't add it in and then you'll be asked for your credentials for your account with smart life once you've entered them in the service will be linked now coming back from here if I now scroll down to the bottom you can see studio blind going in there you just got the fact it's linked in with smart life and the name there you can rename it as well if you wanted to if you wanted to call it something different so next so next if I unmute my Google home the microphone is back on. I can say close studio blind. Okay, closing studio blind. Open studio blind. Okay, opening studio blind. Simple to set up and get configured via voice control on the Google Home. Next, let me show the voice control functionality working on the Amazon device. So if I go to the Amazon app here, click in the corner, go to skills and games. You wanna search for the Smart Life app and it's one here. Add it in, same thing with the Google device. You enter in your credentials and it will link in with a skill. Then you go to devices, all devices, and you can see it here, Studio Blind. So going in there, you can see it's just connectivity details in there and the name, so you can edit the name in there. So now, if I unmute my device, I can say, turn on Studio Blind. Okay. Turn off Studio Blind. Okay. Open Studio Blind. Studio Blind doesn't support that. There you go. Keep that in mind. So voice control wise, it's on and off that works with this device. But there you go. Works very easily with both the Amazon and the Google products and no hassle to really set up. Okay, so you've seen the unboxing and setup of this tubular motor. Excellent functionality from this one. The fact that you can hide your motor within the actual blind itself. That way, nothing's sticking out. So a couple of things to note with that. The diameter of the tube has to be around 38 to 37 millimeters to enable you to use this. Obviously the rubber in there grips onto it and enables it to spin around. So keep that in mind. I wouldn't really want to chop away at the rubber too much. Don't know what the impact would be and how well it would work like that. So keep that in mind. The other thing is you need a plug. So you're going to have to have a plug close by and then it will work off that. So one thing to keep in mind, if the power's gone and you've got no electricity, you're not going to be able to manually open or close these blinds because there's no ball chain or anything like that at the side to allow you to do that. So there you go. Hope it's helped anyone thinking of purchasing this. Details are in the description below. Thanks for viewing and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.